hello guys my name is arsalan welcome back to my channel and today we guys are going to solve a new lit code question that is number of arithmetic triplets the question says you are given a zero indexed strictly increasing integer array nums and a positive integer diff a triplet i j k is an arithmetic triplet in the following condition are met so we just have to meet this condition and if these are true then we have a then we have a arithmetic triplet and what this condition says that i should be less than j j should be less than k and that these conditions are very important in the code we will be writing soon so just before starting to solve this question out guys do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel so just make sure that you follow this condition and the conditions first is the first condition that i should be less than j j should be less than k then second condition is nums j minus nums i is equals to difference and nums k minus nums j should be equals to difference again if these conditions are met then we have a triplet arithmetic triplet so to understand it in a better way let's understand example number 1 to solve a question so <coughs> as you can see that uh, we have a count output of 2 so how do we get an output of 2 let me explain it to you that uh, we have to check the difference of 3 in our array so if there is a difference of 3 uh, in an uh, in our array then we will increasing by 1 so what difference what difference just see that in the question if you must subtract 7 Minus four, we will be getting three. Four minus one, we will be again getting three. And if these for seven, uh, one, two, and four, one, two, and four are arithmetic triplets because seven minus four is equals to three, and four minus one is also equals to three. Then we move on to two, four, five is an arithmetic triplet because seven minus four is again three, and seven minus four is again three. So I hope that with example you got a better idea what we are actually going to do. Uh, if you haven't, let's understand with example number two as well that ex, uh, that the difference should be equal to two and zero to four is an arithmetic triplet because eight minus six is equals to two. Eight minus six is equals to two. Then six minus four. is again equal to 2 which is equals to our difference so we will be saying that 0 2 and 4 that will be our index value 0 2 and 4 so these are our index value of our array if you still have guys have no idea what we are doing here uh, i will ex- explain it to you again what we have to do actually in here we just have to return the index value of those value which we will be getting our arithmetic triplets in the, here we will be getting like 1 2 and 4 these were our arithmetic triplets 2 4 and 5 2 4 as uh, two four and five these three values were arithmetic uh, sequence so these so these values were our arithmetic triplets so let's start solving this question i will create a variable for uh, let uh, count is equals to 0 and this will be our value which we will be returning and this will count the number of arithmetic triplets so we just have to return this count and between this we have to write some code so we will be creating a loop here for uh, let i for i is for i in range len nums which will be our i which will be the ith index and we will be again creating another loop which is a nested loop now just to make sure that we have to uh, follow this condition here as well so we have to put the starting condition here as well len nums and then again we have to create a nested loop 
for k in range to make sure this we have to again put uh, sorry it's not should not be j it should be i here and here should be j len nums now when a while after creating these three loops let's write the if condition here if these conditions are met control c and i will just simply paste it here paste and i will just modify it and remove this comma from here and uh, put it in a parenthesis and i will make sure that i put one more parenthesis here so guys this if these conditions are true then just just uh, let me put a space in to make it a cleaner code and if this are true then just count by increase my count by one and now let's run this code and check for an answer so you see that it has been running successfully and we have got our answer so this was all in the question guys if you guys have still have any doubt ask me in the comment section and i hope that you guys have understood it so thank you guys for watching this video and see you next time